Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Memento Temporis, Light from the Deep. When we last left off, we were doing some exploring around this lava area, and remember how I was having some problems getting some of those buttons pressed? Well, I spent a bit of time off camera just uh, doing a little stuff with that, and I've, I, I think, I've kind of figured it out, sort of, maybe, a little bit. You know, at least, uh, that one button that I seem to be having problems with because it had the weird fire plant. I've learned how to deal with them. It's simple. You block, and then give them the old one-two punch, then block, and then give them another one-two punch, and they're probably dead by that point because they're they're pretty glass cannony. Yeah, like the one over there on the uh, left, ow. Uh, or the right side of the screen. Oh, God, this thing's back? I was not expecting that, to be honest. I was hoping it would still be dead. But I do have a bunch of po health potions, so... We can use that to our advantage when the time comes. Which would be much easier than just trying to not die. And this thing saw fit to give us health, so that's good. Alright, let me show you the technique that I have learned. Wait for it. The old one, two. Yeah, it only takes like four hits to kill these things, so... They're actually not nearly as bad as I thought they were. There we go. Now, I'm pretty sure we've already hit the buttons that were over there. On this side. There might be more buttons, though. So, you know what? Let's save the game. I really, really hope that, uh... Your buttons... Ooh. Never a stamina potion. I hope your button pressing progress is not reset every time you save. But we'll want to double check on that just to be safe. Because you never know. It's entirely possible that it might get reset. Which will make me a sad man, to be honest. But, sometimes that's life. Yep. And... Yep, saw that one coming. Oh, that one actually, I was sure I was going to fail that. Nice. Really, the ultimate way to kill an enemy is to throw their corpse into a thing of steaming lava. Incidentally, this map, notice how it seems to indicate that there are... There is a lower level here. Oh, wait, it's because the lower level is right there. Uh, silly me. Also, is this ready to open? Because it occurs to me, I think these lights have been lighting up on it. And it looks like there's two left. As far as I can tell, I can't uh, jump down. So, that's a mild problem. Ow. Well, that sucks for me. Not very, uh... That particular area is clearly not designed for me to come back. Oh, what's this? It's glowing. I wonder. Does it do this because I have to press all the buttons before pressing that one? Or is it because, as I feared, all the buttons got reset and I have to press them all again? Easiest way to figure that one out is to simply... Double check again. Apparently we haven't been up here before. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright. What's going on up here? Yeah, there's a button up here. Hello there, Mr. Demon. Aha! Oh! Oh god. Run. Aha! Ow. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Um, F, right? Yes, F is for healing. I see I'll have one health potion left. That is an X. Does that mean that... Oh, it just means there's a bit of a delay before you can use it again. I hate these demons. They're probably going to be the mooks for the boss of this level. Ha 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 You suck, demon. You were no match. All right. So I think that is almost all the buttons. Most of the buttons have been pressed. But there might be another button in another part of the level... No, this button's been pressed, so let's go back and see if we can press the last button. The one that doesn't seem to, uh, oh god. And judo kick! Alright, awesome. Beautiful. Kick and punch. Ultimate combination kills them every time. Alright. Let's, uh, figure this one. Hmm. Oh god. I was lucky not to get hit there. Alright, this button is back up again. 
I mean, hmm. I wonder. Do I punch the button? Or do I just need to hit more buttons? These are the questions. How do I unlock that particular... Oh god. Alright. Obviously, we want to look around here. As you can see, there are some areas that we haven't explored yet, so we'll probably want to go explore those areas. Uh, it also looks like... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four squares to the right on the map of the level we're on. There is possibly a secret area that we've not been to yet. So we'll have to remember to go there at some point. Actually, wait, that's where the uh, switch was that I hit, and that's where there's like the uh, secret lava floor that won't actually kill you if you step on it, or if you fall into it. Well, it'll do a little bit of damage, but then you just kind of fall through the lower level. So we'll have to remember that. I'm also kind of mad that I ended up having to use my health potion. Though, dealing with that demon has reminded me of why it's a good idea to kill every single enemy in these games, because you never know when they're gonna drop a healing potion. And you never know when you're gonna need a healing potion, so it's always a good idea to have healing potions on hand. Also, I didn't start the timer. Alright, so this episode might run a little long, depending on how clever I am. Let's see. Double check. Look. There we go. I like to make sure I fill out every square of the map, if I can. Just for completionist purposes, and you never know when there's gonna be some, you know... If I jumped into this pool of lava, would I be able to access that? I feel like that's a it's a trick and or trap to fool me into going over there. So I'm not gonna go over there. As you can see, there are a pair of demon pals here. I wonder if I could convince him to jump into the lava. Oh dear. Yep. Oh god, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Oh god. There we go. I wonder why they explode when they die. I believe last time I was talking about them being like the predator. Oh god. They do a lot of damage. You don't want to get stabbed by these guys. Oh god. Well, at least it gave me 10 of my health points back. Which is a, a little bit of a... Oh my, this keeps going. This is kind of scary, man. And kick him in the face. Oh good, another health potion. And I missed. Ah, more health. The game is being suspiciously generous. Which makes me think it's planning on doing heinous things to me in the near future. I think I can make that jump. Apparently I could not. Alright. Oh dear. This does not look like it's going to be a fun place to live. And work. Maybe I should drink some of those stamina potions. Wow, they're giving me a lot of stamina potions. I'd actually really prefer just health. If it's all the same to you, but... Alright. Don't have access to that one yet. Gotcha. Alright. Kill the little wormy guys. I might skip the demon, because I feel that I take more damage from them than... You know, any gains I might get out of it. Mostly because of my own incompetence. I, I can't really blame the demon for just... Oh god, he's coming after me. And he doesn't stop, so... Alright, I guess I have to kill the demon. Ah! Aha! Missed me. And again? Ha ha ha. Oh yeah. You ain't got nothing on this. And he blew up. Here I was saying how they do more damage to me than I do to them. And I, you know what, I guess the key is sometimes just self-confidence. You gotta have confidence in yourself. You gotta believe that you can achieve your dreams. Because if you don't, well then, I mean, no one's gonna believe in them for you. So, yeah. Ugh. Please tell me I can make this jump. I'll be very sad if I can't. Yeah. Not quite. Maybe from this step. Yeah. Nope. Oh, come on, game. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? Really? Yeah. Well, over over there on that far, far right. Hmm. Yeah. I can't get up here. Yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe, it, maybe I'm not supposed to be down here yet. 
And I did say that last time, so... Maybe I was right. Ah! Demon man! Yep. Ideally, we don't want both demons to aggro at the same time. And they have both aggroed at the same time, so let's get the heck out of here! Nope. Nope. Nope! Haha! <laughs> so long, suckers. Alright, let's just... Get out. You know what? Oh shit. Oh shit! Get out! Get out! Get out! I gotta find out if there's any way we could possibly get at whatever the mystical magicalness is. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So we're not getting at it yet. I mean, there's obviously something going on there. Maybe there is a secret in the water of boiling death and despair. But that can wait for another time. Because for now, let's just get out of here. Maybe we'll kill some worms. Hope that they drop some more healing potions for us. Occasionally I get a little critical hit. Oh god. Oh god. I Occasionally I notice here that I get critical hits where I do like 13 damage instead of just 10. Which is nice. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of this horrible, horrible place and never come back. In I mean, until we have to to fight the boss, of course. But... Since... At the time being... Or at the time being... For the time being... It seems to be beyond my feeble mental capacity to actually figure out where we're going or how to get that one button to stay pressed and other such things. Maybe I need to get some kind of item that will allow me. Now we've been over here. All right, yeah, let's just let's just get out of here. Maybe there's there could be stuff that we can do elsewhere. Definitely want I guess I'll Oh, jeez. I forgot. I forgot about that secret. That awful, awful place. Someday, we're gonna get a spike hat upgrade that'll let us kill those things. I also let that bite me, just so it would feel better about itself. Or at least that's what I'm gonna say I did. Alright. Oh, wait. Maybe... Oh, yeah. There's a whole area over here on this side that we haven't explored yet. So maybe I was getting... Did that just do 35 damage? That was one hell of a critical hit. Ow. That wasn't very nice, Mr. Worm. I mean, seriously. I mean, sure, I'm trying to murder you, but is that really any reason for that behavior? Let's see here. Ah, yes. The bouncy things that I was in unable to really work to my advantage last time. Alright. We can figure this one out. Oh god. I feel like I can figure that one out. I mean, these have to be here because I'm able to bounce up them. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh god. Alright. Boing. Boing. Damn it. <laughs> this may require me to cut away for a bit. Depending on how... Yes! Yes! We made it to the top! Golden glory awaits, possibly. Or death and despair. Really? It was just a shortcut to get back out? Well, that's... That's a disappointment to me. I mean, I could've just walked out myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, but then again, game's gotta do that to you sometimes. It's like, oh, you, you did that big challenging area where you just walked through or bounced up that and you figured out how to coordinate your your hands and movement enough to be able to get to the top. Well, too bad. Turns out there was nothing valuable down there anyway. Or up there, I guess, in this case. I don't mind it when games troll me. Well, most of the time. Sometimes it's really annoying. Like, if, I, if that was a, a jumping puzzle that took an hour to solve and then just had that little shortcut. In fact, I'll be honest. I'm not even sure if that was actually supposed to be seen as a challenge. It could just be my own incompetence, making it look harder than it really was. Honestly, that would not surprise me at all. Anyway, let us uh, let us do a little exploring over here, because maybe there are secrets and upgrades that I was supposed to pick up over here before really going down into the depths. It's hard to tell, really, with games like this, where they give you the freedom to kind of explore at your leisure. Hello? Hi. Ow. Well, that was something. 
If I fall in, can I get back out? Probably. All right, we're gonna have to suffer a bit of damage in order to get across here. Aha! There is a secret button. What? 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 Okay. So there is definitely an upgrade of some kind that I have to get. I do not have access to yet. Hmm. Questions. Alright, we're gonna leave this area, because I feel like I am missing something that is probably ridiculously obvious. But it's also entirely possible that I'm just not supposed to be here yet until I get other upgrades. Which is kind of funny, really. Spent an entire episode last time, and at least half of this episode now, trying to figure out what to do here, but it might just be that I'm not supposed to be here yet. Or maybe there was an upgrade that was blatantly obvious that I was supposed to pick up, up in the top world, that I forgot about. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's even areas all the way at the beginning of the game that I didn't explore yet. So, yes. There is much mystery, really. Is the moral to conclude from all this, Boingy? All right. You kind of gotta feel bad for these worms. I mean, they don't really stand a chance. I just come up behind them and just kick them, and they turn around and say, "Hey, that wasn't very nice." And I'm like, "Ha ha! Punch to the face. You're dead now." Really makes you feel bad for them. <laughs> really does. All right. Let's take a look at the map up here. All right. All right. Yeah. I missed you, you sword guys. <laughs> Mostly because you are so feeble with your silly little swords. I forget whether I could block them with my bare hands or not. Oh, there's a secret room over here that I haven't been to, apparently. In fact, there's a lot of stuff in this general vicinity that I apparently haven't been... I haven't checked out yet. Beautiful. You know what? I want to go over here before we go over there, so... we. Oh god. Okay. Take it slow, man. Beautiful. What do you have to say, Mr. Sign? Oh. Oh! Yep. Yep. Aha! Bounced on your head, sir. Wait. Wait a minute. Says I haven't... Oh, dang it. I am sure we have been in this general vicinity before, have we not? Like, I'm sure we checked that one room off to the side. But according to this, we have not done any such thing. Or maybe we did, but then I died, and then I didn't bother coming back to check it out. That must be the case. Hey, Mr. Giant Man. I, I don't want to, uh... I don't want to aggro both of you at the same time, but apparently the game... Insists! Ow. Aw, oh, no! No, and it's been so long since I saved! Oh wait, no it wasn't. Not that long anyway. Oh well, well, we'll worry about that later. I don't recall there being anything too exciting in there. I think it was just a potion. So we can leave the potion for now. It's a useful potion to be sure, but we don't need it right now. Let's just try to get to the top of this lovely cliff area and see what new secrets there are to explore and see and so on and so forth. Alrighty then. This is the way to true glory. Probably. Maybe. Hmm. Oh god, no, I'm not gonna make it! Alright. So, at least we know now that you don't want to fall on spikes, because they'll probably kill you. Oh no! Ow. Lock! Ow. Yeah, take that, Mr. Mask Face. You're not so... Face or mask now, are you? Of which none of that made any sense whatsoever, but... It is what it is. Alright, up we go. Lots of angry, punchy people. And by punchy people, I mean people that I can punch. I'm probably the angry, punchy person, to be honest. Let's see here. 
All right, so this is all new for us. All right. Yeah, you know what? I am getting the feeling that lava area, like there's gotta be some uh, upgrades that I need to pick up before we can really make any headway down there. Unless I'm missing something, as I've said before. It's entirely possible I'm just missing stuff. Because those demons were pretty tough. Tougher than I was really ready to face, I think. Boom, shakalaka. All right, punch you in the face. Punch you in the face again. All right, and I'll punch you as well, because maybe you'll you'll be the one to finally drop a health potion instead of crushing all my hopes and dreams of owning a health potion. Wonder where we're going. Oh god. Come on, angry spiky hat man. I'm actually kind of surprised. Their hats look mildly, potentially spiky, so I'm kind of surprised that I'm actually able to get away with punching them. Or landing on their heads, rather. Why am I jumping? Obviously, because I'm hitting the wrong buttons. And taking far more damage than I need to against these giants, to be honest. I'm taking too many risks. When I really don't need to. How many potions do I have again? I have two. So I can afford to make use of them. And I probably should, because it doesn't take that many punches. Ooh. Beach is inaccessible. The ocean horror will continue its slumber. Ah, I assume that's because the game is still in development, so this area will eventually be unlocked, but not right now. That's for later. And something about an ocean horror. I am actually kind of glad that we don't have to deal with that. I mean, as long as it's not a Reaper Leviathan, right? Right? That's what I say. Man, those things. I tell ya. Probably one of the scariest things I've ever dealt with in a video game. And Subnautica isn't even a horror game. But that is not the game we're playing right now, so let's talk about other things. Like shoes and ships and ceiling wax and punching this guy in the face. Best way to work out your aggression. Why does everyone want to kill me anyway? Like, what did I do to you people? Oh god. Uh, could you maybe stop- oh no no no, Ooh, I don't want to land on the spikes! Guys! Guys, look out! There's an energy beam coming after you! But no, you would rather kill me, huh? What jerkbags. Yeah, I'll punch you in the face. Yeah, take that. But then again, maybe the reason they want to kill me is because I've already killed so many of them. And they just want revenge! Oh yeah, critical kick. Right in the face. Right in the face. You'll go kicking and screaming, all right. That's for sure. Ooh, oh, I can't. I couldn't kick the or smash the box, which mildly disappointed me. There's a lot of blood on those spikes, I notice. A lot of blood. Very suspicious. How many people have been coming through here? Don't die. You gonna fall on the spikes, sir? It'd be kind of funny if he'd fallen on the spikes. This looks like some kind of camp, to be honest. No, no! No, F, F. Oh god. Ow, you jerkbag. I probably could have blocked and or dodged. Ow, you take this. Making me use all my potions on you mooks. You're not worth my time. And yet, apparently you are because I'm spending time on you. Beautiful. Uh, I wish they weren't giving me so many stamina potions and would give me more of those sweet, sweet uh, health potions. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Ah, he's still alive. All right, let's see. There is an area down below me. There are also these doors over here. I'm assuming that's what these are, right? Yes, these are doors. All right. Uh... I don't really want to risk that. I think I could make it, but it's been a while since we've seen the save point, so I don't really want to risk it. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that later. All right, but the key question is now, where am I supposed to go? I feel mildly lost. Maybe I am supposed to be in the volcanic area and I just haven't figured out all the, the tricks to get around. Hmm. Maybe. That is entirely possible. Oh good, finally a health potion. I've been waiting for one of those for so long. Alright. Hmm. 
I mean, I am kind of tempted to go all the way back to the very beginning of the game. Because there is a part of me that is suspicious that I have missed something of value there that I will want. Oh, it's this joker. Oh, God. Come on, you. Oh, God. Oh, he's dead. Good. That worked out very well after all, I guess. Beautiful. And more health. All right. Let's get a jump. And not quite. My jumping... There's got to be the ability to unlock a double jump at some point. Right? I think so. That's my assumption. Or I just suck at jumping. That's also entirely possible. Let's try one more time. Well, that pretty much confirms it, really. And... Uh, no. Alright. I can't do it. I'm just not competent enough. Alright, so let's go find a save point, and then I'll try jumping over those spikes from earlier. Let's have another look over here. Yep. There is a relatively close-by save point. Also, never double-check. Alright. Oh, right. I don't have the upgrade to be able to smash those blocks, so I have to go the long way around. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, come on! Ah! And thus we learn the ultimate futility of endeavor in life. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. I'm gonna keep looking around. I'm gonna get us back to like the very beginning of the game and see if there's anything I can wander around with over there that I missed. Or maybe I am just missing some tiny little detail in the lava zone. We'll figure that out. And I will see you guys next time. But for now, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you, hopefully, in the next video.